Okay, so let me show you my setup here. I have this um, soft pentameter by Spectra Symbol that um, gives a different readout depending on where you touch it on the on the line here. Um, this goes for $7.99 at Adafruit. And um, this is a simple speaker that uh, I think I got it for $5 on Adafruit, maybe even less. Um, I'll include the links to all these um, in the description. And then I'm just using a uh, Adafruit Flora. Uh, you can use any Arduino though, any microcontroller for that matter. Um, and so how this works is I have the, uh, the, uh, the soft pentameter has um, three pins at the bottom. The one with the arrow pointing down, I have connected to the power on the Arduino, on the Flora. The one in the middle there is the signal. I have that connected to, I think, uh, D9 um, or D6, uh, one or the other. And then I have the, uh, um, the, other, the other one at the end there connected to ground. Okay, um, and so as long as the one in the middle is connected to one of your um, pins, uh, you, you want it uh, ideally to an analog pin for the floor, you could um, designate a digital pin as an analog pin, so that's okay. Um, and actually, I do have it to D9. It's actually uh, this one right here is the one that I have uh, connected, the yellow one there. Um, this one here, D6, I have actually connected to the speaker, the positive end of the speaker. The speaker only has two outputs, a positive and a negative, and then this green cord goes to ground. Um, and so I could send signals based upon that um, by you know, sending high to the uh, D6 pin. Um, and that's it, that's all the connections. It's really not that complicated. And um, I have code here in Arduino, and it's pretty basic. I, I just found these online, these different um, tones. Uh, you could do a search. I'll include this code though. Um, and then I have uh, an array that holds all the tones. Um, I designated my uh, speaker pin. Remember I said that was D6. And there's my, um, the uh, for the soft pentameter, the uh, A9. So it's, you can, putting that A in front makes it an analog pin. And then um, these are durations, uh, how long the tone is going to play, and I just have them cor correlating to the things above. Um, this sets everything in motion in the setup here. You know, we start the speaker, and then we um, will uh, start the uh, connection to the, the soft pentameter. Uh, we get our reading right here, and then I go ahead and... Um, if the reading is uh, less than a thousand, so by default it was, it, you know, the, the readings were above a thousand. And so when I touch it though, they all go below, and that's when I want to start playing tones. Um, and so uh, I just have it dividing whatever that is by a hundred, because it's numbers between, you know, uh, zero and a thousand. So I said, I'll play 10 of the tones above. So for every 100, it's gonna play a different tone, if that makes sense. And, and so that's what happens here. And then I send that value to this method, to the Takar method, that basically go ahead and, and plays a tone um, based upon where I touch the pentometer. And actually, let's go ahead, we'll upload this to the, um, to the floor. And everything went right there. And we'll see in the serial monitor that um, oh. and see now we're getting readouts every time I touch it. All right. So different tone based upon where I'm touching it on the line here. So you really could make a little, with a couple of these, your own electric uh, keyboard. All right, so pretty cool. Um, I'll share all the code and everything. Um, there's all kinds of applications for this. You could have this hooked up to lights and maybe it plays a different shade based upon where you clicked it. Maybe lights and the audio together. 
Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you um, want me to do anything further with these uh, devices. Thanks, and please subscribe.